Hello everyone and thank you for thank you for joining me today. I will walk through the basic support vector machine or SVM. It's a popular machine learning algorithm. Today I will try to explain it the, the binary classification, which try to split the two different classes. And I will provide also a very numerical example and also provide you with the uh, Python code that is used Python, uh, pure Python. So there's no any packages. It's it's just uh, NumPy uh, packages. So what is the support vector machine? The support vector machine is a supervised machine learning algorithm, which means it's try, it also used the label data. So it means if you have any data and you would like to classify it as class one, class two, class three. So this means it's a supervised uh, algorithm. And the goal also of uh, support vector machine is to find the boundary and to, the boundary between the, the, these classes. And this boundary is known or called as hyperplane. The best spreads the data into two classes. And the algorithm is especially popular for applications like image recognition, text classification, and many other applications. And to understand the support vector machine, there are a few main concepts you need to, uh, to know. First, the hyperplane. This is the hyperplane that split the data. So assume that we have this here, non type of data here. And this is the other the data. And it's worth to mentioning here, the support vector machine is a binary classification. So it cannot classify three, uh, uh, it's designed only for the, uh, binary classification. But if you would like to classify, if your data has many class, uh, classes or multiple classes, so there are several, uh, techniques that can be used uh, along with support vector machine to achieve the cl uh, classification. So this is the hyperplane and it split the, this data from this data. And the other one is margin. So if you see, this is the margin. And once uh, the, 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 the idea of uh, support vector machine is to maximize this, this distance here between these two classes. And the finally, that we have support vectors. Support, support vectors are the data points close to the hyperplane. So, for instance, in this in this case here, we have this this point here and these points that are close to the uh, hyperplane and margin. It's called support vectors. So, assume we have these data here. Sorry for this because it's it's not uh, optimal drawing. So assume that we have this data. Here. So how what is the best hyperplane to to uh, uh, separate this data? So do you think this one is the, the right one, or maybe this, and maybe this, or which one is the best solution? And that maximize the distance between these two classes. And so to uh, the, the, the maximize the, the margin is to avoid the misclassification. So let's assume this is the right one. But he, if we have this this class, this point is close to this, and this is this one here is also close to this. And any uh, mistake, it will classify this point as a as a, this class one, for instance, this one uh, class one. And in this case, let's say this is the best uh, split function here, the, the best hyperplane, because it's max, uh, if you see the distance from this point to this, and this point to this, it's somehow making a grid. So I will uh, go through the example, and of course it will make it a little bit uh, easier. So, uh, this is not the example. Let's see, just this is the uh, one example. Assume this is the data point here, A, B, C. And uh, in your case, it will be students one, student two, student three, student four, or maybe uh, image one, image two, image three, image five. And this is the extracted function. And yeah, by the way, this uh, support vector machine is considered as a traditional uh, uh, 
algorithm, uh, machine learning algorithm, because uh, it's it's needed uh, support for Kubernetes needs uh, the features. And assume this is the point. Uh, I make it uh, simple because uh, x and y. Let's see. And here's the uh, points. A, B, it's uh, assigned to class one. C and D is class uh, assigned to class two. And I'm trying to here to split the data here to the creating the hyperplane. Which one is this one or this one? But uh, this we can see it here in this example. If we see this example, it it's almost the same example, but with different uh, input data. And for the subboard vector machine, we have uh, different uh, parameters. It's called hyperparameters. Yeah, it's called hyperparameters. And the idea now is to split these data or these classes, but with real example, and because if you see in the sub support vector machine on any uh, source, you will find uh, several uh, complex equations. But I'm trying here to make it very, very simple. So as we said, the hyperparameters for the support vector machine, it's learning rate, uh, regularization strength, and number of ebooks. So this uh, number of ebooks, yeah, for, for instance, learning rate, and the uh, number of ebooks, it, uh, if you see in the beginning, we try to draw the hyperplane the first time, and we see no, this is not. We will draw then a second line, and until we get the, the optimal, let's see, uh, the optimal hyperplane. And uh, in this, in the hyper in the support vector machine, it's like linear. Uh, linear uh, classifier or linear regression. And I also have uh, have a video, record a video uh, on this. You can have a look on this, how, how it's working. But yeah, so this we need uh, initial weights and bias. The initial weight we have zero, zero, because we have x1, x2. And the bias it's zero for, for all of these, uh, for this record, for instance. And now the initial the initial oh did i move yeah so the initial weight is zero zero and the bias initial bias it's zero and if you see we will take the first point here a two two three plus one here's x one two x two is three and the class is one so to cal to calculate the, the the decision function we need to we need to apply this this uh, formula here. class which is in our case plus one, multiplied by weight, which in our case in the beginning it's zero, zero, mild, uh, multiplied by the functions, uh, but multiplied by the uh, features, it's two and three, plus bias, which is also zero. And you can see here, plus one is the class, multiplied by weight, zero, multiplied by two, plus zero, multiplied by uh, three and plus the bias, it's zero. And because here it's zero, we need to update the weight, uh, the weight, which is zero, zero, and also the, bi uh, the bias. To update the weight, we have weight equal weight, I mean, this is the, the old one, which is zero, minus learning rate, multiplied by two regularization uh, strength, multiplied by weight minus class, plus features, uh, mul uh, multiplied by features. This is uh, a simple equations. And if you see here, after after calculating this, we will have the the the, the updated weights here, and this is the bias. And these weights and bias will be used for the next point, let's see B. Now we have B. B is four and one, and the class label is one. We will try to also to repeat the first steps, and here also the the the, the result of this formula here is less than one. So it means it's it's less than one, but because the the class label is is one, so we need to make the weights more more accurate. Let's see. 
and the the idea behind updating quiz is to getting uh, or let's say reduce the number of errors because if you see here b the condition b is point point 12 but here it's plus one so we need to update the weights and the the bias and here we update it now we will go to the point uh, point three uh, point c almost the same i mean it's the same steps and here's the updated weight this updated weight will be used for the the, the next uh, point and here's the point c and d this is for the first iteration let's see and we have this and this and if we try if we get the the exact number the exact number of class let's see one or zero or minus one so we will see here we need to stop but else we need to repeat a book two so the a book two it will be uh, let's see this is the a book two and we will start from the beginning point a and you can see here condition is is uh, equal this equation here and you can see here it's 0.77 it's also misclassified but it's better than the first one if we go back to the first uh, a book we can see here a uh, cal uh, decision function is zero but now it's also improved by changing the weights and you can see here uh, point b it's uh, of course improved and we see here point c it's minus one it's correctly classified but it still need to be let's see one uh, minus one and this is the the weights after applying uh, a book two now uh, if you would like to continue you can do use this weights and bias and do the uh, a book let's see three so I will show you, show you now a Python example, and of course I will attach this also here. The Python code, it's like this. Oops. So the Python code is, is I, I, I have done it as a, object uh, oriented classes uh, programming so as we see we have some hyperparameters learning read the default value is 0, 0, 1, uh, 001 the regularization is 0 0.01 and number of a box is 1000 and as we see this is the the weights the weights and bias and this is the hyperparameters or maybe uh, let's see this also as a constant as a hyperparameter because let's also make uh, any uh, changes to the if we increase the number of ebooks and the weights will be initialized for each feature uh, not for each feature in the beginning and we will use it for the next features and this is the function fit I mean of course you can see it in the if you use uh, uh, Keras or PyTorch, you can see this functions. But he, I try to avoid any extra uh, uh, libraries or packages. I'm using here pure uh, numpy. And the fit function, it's we will get the number of features. And this is the weight. And the weight has to be uh, exactly uh, the same as uh, number of features. I have explained this in more detail for linear regression. I recommend you, if you are not familiar with this, you can go to see it and come back to here. And we have here number of A books, it's thousand. And this one here, it's for each point. And as we can see, as we have seen in the beginning, we start with point one, point A, C, A, A B, C, D. For the A book one, for the A book two, we also do for the all points and that's the C and uh, there's some uh, uh, notes you need to take it so now if the condition is greater than one you just need to apply it for the, the weight update the weights else you need to update the weights and bias 
and this is the prediction function. Let's see, we assume after finishing, after generating the bias and weights for this data, we will use this data, I mean this bias and weights to calculate, uh, to, to use it in the prediction. And here we have n dot, uh, dot product. Let's see, we have x here, and we will see uh, multiplied by weights plus bias. And bias and weights, it's the, the result of 1000 ebook in this example. And nb dot sign, it's just returning plus, my, plus one or minus one. And this one is if you have uh, a batch size, a batch of data. This is to get the parameters, uh, getting the parameters uh, weights and bias. And this is the, let's see, this is the example data heat. We have 2, 3, point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3, point 0.4, and this is a class label of H data heat. Now we will put this data and label to get to, let's see, uh, learn, learn this uh, algorithm. And after getting the, uh, the, after updating the weights, we will try to test this data heat. We will ask, we will have this data here without any class and we will try to see which label this data is classified. Yeah, I think that's it. And the next step is how to use, uh, if we, if your data has uh, multiple classes. Let's see, uh, in this case we have, let's see, go back to this. In this case, we have class one, plus one, minus one. And of course, your data or complex data has many classes, multiple classes. For instance, class one, class two, class three. And for instance, uh, if you use this for image classification, this will be uh, image uh, belong to dog or cat or elephants or human or car. And see, we have many classes here. But mainly the support vector machine is used only for binary classification. But with with the help of any uh, of other uh, techniques, which is uh, it's used it's used to uh, to make the uh, classification for multi classes using support vector machine. This will be the next video. Thank you.